Why is the narcissist so mean after this God? When the narcissist finally leaves you, they can be very mean. They can be very unkind, spiteful or unfair. They can be vicious or aggressive in behaviour. They can be unwilling to give or share things with you, especially closure. The reason why the narcissist is so mean after the discard is because they know that you have figured them out. They know that you know what they're really about. When you first met the narcissist, they displayed their false self to you. They displayed a deceptive appearance or impression. Something that was meant to hide the truth about them and mislead you. It was designed to make them appear as something desirable and attractive. As you began to spend more time with the narcissist, you then realised that there was another side to them. A side that was not very nice. The truth is that neither the good side or the bad side are really them. They are both false selves which the narcissist uses to get what they want from you. When the narcissist was being nice, it was because at that time you didn't know much about them. They knew that you would be susceptible to their manipulation. They knew that you would believe in what they were telling you or showing you. When you validate the narcissist's false self and their illusions, it's given them a narcissistic supply. It makes them feel desirable and attractive. It makes them feel as though they are wanted by someone. When you no longer validate them, when you no longer believe in what they are displaying to you, That is when they want to start hurting you. That is when they want to start getting revenge. The narcissist is so mean after discard because in their warped minds, you have failed them. You have failed to meet their expectations. The truth is that everyone will fail to meet the narcissist's expectations because the narcissist cannot be satisfied. They're like a bucket with a leak at the bottom. No matter how much you pour into them, it will always leak out. Happiness is meant to come from within, yet the narcissist expects you to make them happy. They expect you to satisfy them, just as they expect you to validate their false self and their illusions. They can't do that on their own, because it isn't real. It needs external validation to make it seem real to them. In their minds, they believe that if you can see it, it must be real. Even though it is just a fabrication, it's something that they have invented. It has no basis or foundation in reality and that is why it can never be real. That is why they need you to constantly pour into them.
Over time, this begins to drain you of your energy and of your life source. And you begin to feel drained and lifeless. But as the narcissist is self-absorbed and lacks empathy, they only care about their own needs. They don't care about how it affects you. In their minds, you are meant to save them. You are meant to rescue them from harm or danger. You are meant to preserve their conditional state. And in their minds, you fail them. You are not good enough for them. But if you look deeper into it, you will find that this is actually a projection of how they feel. Because when you stopped validating their false self and their illusions, when you stopped believing in their lies, you made them realize that their false self isn't even real, that their false self doesn't even exist. And all that was left in that moment was who they really are. That underdeveloped child self within them who they abandoned a long time ago. That true part of them who they felt would never be good enough for anyone or anything. When they no longer had any validation or support for their false self, they were then forced to reflect on that true part of them, and they began to feel worthless and insignificant. But they didn't self-loathe. They didn't reflect on their own self-hatred. They projected their feelings onto you. And because they didn't reflect on their feelings or acknowledge why they felt that way, they assumed that you made them feel that way. The narcissist sees their feelings as facts. They see their feelings as a piece of information that could be used as evidence. Something that could be used in discussing the significance of something being the case. So when you stop validating their false self and their illusions, when you stop believing in their lies, the narcissist begins to feel worthless and insignificant. And because they see their feelings as facts, they believe that you must have done something to them for them to feel that way. So in their minds, they don't see any reason why they shouldn't get revenge on you. They feel hurt or upset. They feel as though they have suffered an injury or wrong at your hands. So they believe that it is justified for them to be mean to you. They believe that it is justified for them to treat you however they choose to. And they can be very vicious and aggressive towards the end of the discard. They will willfully cause pain and suffering to you and feel no concern about it. They don't care about the damage that they have caused. They don't care about what happens to you. Because when you stopped validating their false self, when you started questioning or confronting them, that is when they began to reflect on the fact that maybe their false self isn't real. 
that is when they began to project their flaws and insecurities onto you. The narcissist can only be good to you as long as you believe in what they are displaying to you. If you have an argument or disagreement with the narcissist, they will project their flaws and insecurities onto you. This is usually when the devaluation phase will begin because you are no longer validating their false self. It's either you or them. Either they reflect on how they feel about themselves or they project it onto you. And of course, no narcissist is going to self-reflect. If they were to do that, they wouldn't be a narcissist anymore. But they continue to avoid looking within themselves. They continue to operate as their false selves. And anyone who gets in their way, anyone who doubts or questions their motives or abilities, will quickly be devalued and discarded. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at knoxfordcoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.